Gorbetta turned pink for stage three of the Giro Rosa, the 14th event of the UCI Women's World Tour. Every house and shop seemed to be decorated to commemorate the race's arrival in the town for what was to be the longest stage of the 10-day race. Everyone was out to see the riders and staff alike as they prepared for the stage under the blazing sun in the Lombardia town. Yesterday, Silence Pro Cycling rider Shayla Gutierrez was in the break all day. Actually, we knew that uh, Georgia is in a good shape, so we also wanted her fresh in the, in the final, but uh, I felt good and I wanted to start to try for the first stage, even if I knew that was uh, difficult. But uh, yeah, I get many funny, I also get some confidence that uh, I need because I was uh, having a bad time after an accident car. And uh, now I, I feel good and I'm into the year again. So I think that today is going to be a bit of an interesting race. You really don't know if they're going to let a break go. It's also a super technical circuit. Um, my sister's just done a lap of the course and we go through like what is essentially a walking street. So um, first goal is to survive and then second goal is to see who's there for the sprint. <laughs> Once all the teams had signed on in front of the gathered crowd, including race leader Lucinda Brand wearing her Malia Rosa, they made their way to the start line in the town centre. The peloton had to conquer 132 kilometres wrapped into eight laps of 16k around Combetta in the blazing sun. And with the race underway, a group of three riders were soon up the road in a breakaway and contesting for the intermediate sprints. A bunch sprint was inevitable, but the three believed fiercely in their chances of a stage win. Camellia Cipriani of Conceria Fabrini Fanini, Sarah Penton of Team Virtue Cycling, Ciara Perini of Guys Freddy Bianchi were the ones that tried to beat the peloton and hoped that the peloton would let them win. However, behind the three, it was the sprinters' teams who were monitoring the front of the bunch, with Ali Cipollini, Mitchton Scott and Wiggle High Five all present, while Team Sunweb maintained position to guard their general classification leader. In the break, the three riders continued working very well together, maintaining their advantage, which reached over two minutes, where it remained for many kilometres to go. Riding through the pretty city centre of Corbetta, as the race entered the final 30 kilometres, the peloton began to gradually erode the breakaway's lead. Despite their continued cooperation, it was Wiggle High Five, hoping Kirsten Weald would bag a second consecutive win, who worked to bring the gap down, with Canyon Sram moving up, preparing the sprint for Alexis Ryan. With the might of some of the world's best riders assembled behind, despite their valiant effort, the break could not maintain their advantage. And eventually, as the race entered the final five kilometres, the trio were caught by the massed peloton, readying themselves for the inevitable bunch sprint. It was race leader Brand who led the bunch into the last kilometre, ensuring the team were kept safe though Canyon Sram and Mitchelton Squat were lurking just behind, the latter setting up Jolien Dor for eventual stage glory. Today everybody was like expecting a bunch sprint, so during the race it was pretty easy, but then the last lap was really hectic and there were a lot of crashes again, uh, but I could stay safe and out of trouble, and I just found my way through the bunch, uh, um, yeah, thanks, thanks to being a trekkie, I guess. Um, and then I came in the last corner in fifth position, so actually I had to go from that point, otherwise I was too late. So it was a really long sprint, but uh, I could manage it until the finish. I mean, you have to believe it, otherwise why would you go? Uh, so I really tried to motivate the other girls uh, and maybe take a little longer pause where I was stronger to just give them some extra rest to keep them going. Because they were skipping turns every now and then. Uh, and I thought if I'm starting to skip turns, they will stop. Uh, so I just kept a steady pace and kept talking to them and just motivating them to keep going. And I think they really, really wanted it to stay away. So yeah, we kept a good flow. I didn't expect it. Um, we were hoping to keep it at least within the team since we're all still really close on GC and we knew there was more of a sprint stage and it was also time bonuses. Um, so it's, it's really nice we still have it within the team and we're really good at sharing the jerseys I think we're showing. <laughs> 
Where Bronzini and Voss battled for the win in the second stage, today they battled for fifth. Team Sunweb still has four riders leading the general classification, with Mitchell and Scott riders right behind. Thank you.